Alright guys, Merciless Vaughn back here with another Destiny 2 video. And this one is going to be Destiny Season 21 movie. This is basically a thing that I do at the end of every season with all of the cutscene and the most relevant dialogue that I collected throughout this season. Just all in one video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel or you have been here for a while, please consider subscribing and help me get to 200 subscribers. I am very, very close. And without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. The witness has moved beyond our reach. to follow it. Have failed. But there is still hope. On Neptune, we learned that a key to defeating the Witness lies hidden away on Titan. Now we know why the Witness's fleet came there when it first arrived. Deputy Commander Sloan held the line on Titan to the bitter end right up until the witness took it. Then, we lost all contact. But now, just when we need it most, Titan has returned. And when it did, we were greeted with something we could have never predicted. To any Guardians listening, this is Deputy Commander Sloan requesting emergency support. one rescue operation. We have received a distress call on the secure Vanguard channel. The target of extraction is Deputy Commander Sloan. She was last seen on Titan before it vanished during the arrival of the pyramids. Our job is to triangulate where the distress signal is coming from, find the Deputy Commander, and get her out. I know what you may be thinking, but Sloan is one of the most tenacious, resilient soldiers I've ever known. If anyone could have survived this, it's her. Sloan? Here, Commander. You're alive. Staying alive was the mission. And I always complete the mission. No wonder you called us, sister. Let's get you back home. You don't understand. That distress call wasn't for me. An ally. Her name is Asa. You can communicate with it? It's complicated, sir. I get impressions, emotions, ideas. She knows our true enemy. The witness came for her species, too. Discrete concepts are harder. Even more now, since this. And you're still... You? Every bit. My light is holding this corruption back, but I can hear voices whispering. Demanding. It's like being tuned in to the enemy's radio. If we could strengthen my connection with Asa, I believe it would improve my ability to communicate through the noise. 
I got some ideas. I'll draw up some specs and drop by soon. Sloan. I'm fine, sir. And I think I'm long overdue for a debriefing. As you wish. We'll reconvene at the helm. Good to be back in contact with the Vanguard. It's an honor to serve with you. The Taken moved in quick after we lost Titan. I had to switch gears. Escape, evade, and rotate between extraction points. Survive for another day. That was the mission. I absorbed some of the Taken corruption to tap into their comms. If you can call them that. My bond with Asa proved mission critical too. I owe her my life. Now that Titan's back, the mission's changed. We need more intel on our enemy. The Witness. Drifter claims he knows a way to help Asa share that intel. Boost the signal so her message can get through. If he's right, then you're going to need some diving equipment. Thankfully, I was able to secure a pair of intact subnauticals from the Arcology storage units. Feel free to toss out that junk Drifter gave you earlier. This is the real deal. Sites are secure, and you just punched us a way out. Good. You haven't lost a step. Well, I've had a lot of dive time. But the Guardian took to the sea like a fish. Send over the submersible beacon, and let's transmit this hull back to the rig. You're sure this new ally of yours is trustworthy? Hasn't let me down yet. You asked me to trust you about the Empress. Trust me about Asa. So you heard all of that, huh? Hard to believe, but it's not just noise. I can understand bits and pieces of it through Asa. Zivu Arath's thirst for battle, the Witness's cold rage, the Taken's enmity. It's all in there. I started hearing it when my arm got this new paint job, but it hasn't sounded that real since. Doesn't matter. I've been through it before, and I can get through it again. Asa has vital information about the Witness. I'll do whatever it takes so she can deliver it. That's the mission, and I always complete the mission. Asa and I both need to recover before we boost our connection again. Until then, continue helping Drifter upgrade his technology. I hate to admit it, but his plan seems like it might actually work. Maybe they see the future. 
Maybe they're just a few floors above and can see further down the road than we can. Maybe we're all just squinting at specks, looking for meaning. What I'm saying is, it works. It'll get us what we need, and maybe, if we're lucky, get Sloane what she needs, too. And what is that? A win. Guardian. Operations on Titan are in full swing. Drifter believes he can further improve his modified bank to work at greater depths. He will require more salvage from the sunken arcology. Acquire it for him so we can continue enhancing Sloane's link with Asa. This mission... Sloane's been through enough as it is. I informed her of everything that transpired while she was MIA. Guardians using the darkness, Sabathun's deception, the witness attacking the Traveler, and Amanda. The two of them were close. Word of Amanda's death hit Sloan hard. I saw it in her eyes. The moment when the news landed. And the moment she buried it. I don't like putting this mission on Sloan. But I recognize her need for it. Her need for an objective. And a commander to assign it. What I need is for you to stand beside her in the trenches. Show her that she doesn't have to fight this battle alone. We'll all see this through together. I used to know every fire team that passed through Titan's rig. These guardians, I don't recognize them. You have spent a great deal of time pushing forward. Stop, sit, rest. You will come to know again. Then you will find others to push with you. Like now. You don't have an off switch, do you, Saint? That would be bad design. <laughs> I need to go see Asa. Send me their names. They will be in your debriefing. Thanks, Tactical. Slow now. Wondering what the creature has to share, Guardian? I'm eager myself. Or anxious. But separation can be difficult to discern. Commander, Guardian, were you waiting here for me? Just considering the pieces on the board, Saint. You worry for the Deputy Commander. She is strong. And her friend is very large. They will be okay. Sloane will do what's necessary. But after that, things are less... simple. When I was trapped in the Infinite Forest, before Osiris broke time to reunite us, there were many days I felt lost. But I am here, and you are all with me again. That you are. A hero of the city. Then and now. A hero, yes. Though my memory differs from what the stories say. There's only so much I can do behind a desk. Weighing costs and outcomes. Sending someone else never sits right with me. I'd rather the clarity of the battlefield beside the two of you. The burden of good leaders. To never feel we have done enough. But trusting those we send is what makes us strong. You were Vanguard Commander once. What made you step down? Because I am not as strong as you. You carry the command for the same reason the Guardian and I stand in the trenches. To set the example. To be the hope. When the time comes, you will see it too, huh? 
I know you will. Into the trenches then, Guardian. Yours on Titan. And mine in the tower. I look forward to your report. It's hard to make sense of Asa's thoughts, but they are coming into focus, taken in interference be damned. Hearing those sounds puts me right back in the thick of it. Staying on the move, gun in hand, Zivu Arath's voice in my head. Escape and evade. No matter how bad things got, that routine kept me going. And Asa kept me safe. She shored up my resolve. Helped me find food. Watched over me when I caught a few hours of shut-eye. Now she's doing everything she can to tell us what she knows. We're both on a new mission. Unfortunately, Drifter needs to tinker with his machine before we bank more coral. Hurry up and wait, right? I've been around a long time, Guardian. Seen a lot of action, gone on a lot of sorties. Always ready for the next set of orders. It's staying still that gets to me. are paying off, young wolf. 
It's time for another dive, and another Hall of Coral for the Deputy Commander. Assuming, of course, that you can prevent the Deep from drowning you like a rat. Not that I'm worried about your capacity to do so, especially when Sloane's fighting by your side. She's always been one to shoulder a burden so that others need not. That's something I understand all too well. After the Iron Lords fell, I alone remained to keep the torches lit, to hold the banner high, and honor those who died in the line of duty. It was a lonely path, one I walked for centuries without complaint. Now, a legion of my former enemies walks beside me. I had forgotten what such camaraderie could be like, and I suspect the same holds true for Sloane. Keep that in mind when the two of you are in the depths. There's no weapon more powerful than the soldier standing next to you. This is Operation Fulgurite. Scans have uncovered a rich shelf of egregore coral at a depth we've yet to explore. So rich, in fact, that it has attracted the attention of a Taken Knight and their minions. And they're radiating Taken energy, turning our hall rancid. <clears throat> hey, you don't mind if I take it from here, do you, Big Blue? Good. We're diving into the dark and robbing the Taken blind. Woo! Let's be heroes. Indeed. So we're clear. Disrespect the commander again, I'll hurl you off the arcology like a shot put. That all it take to get you to surface? I'm betting the ocean floor feels like home sweet home now, eh, hey, Chief? Deputy Commander. Get swallowed up by anything big while you were out there? <sighs> Not much cover at seafloor. Before Asa, they tried. Doesn't sound so bad. Open space, cozy long girl. How'd you sleep? Like a lamb in power armor. Stay on mission. And don't call her that. Oh, they should have kept running. Look at them now. Instead! <sighs> well, if you didn't need the backup, I could have saved myself the leg cramps. <sighs> Let's exfil. Get this back to the long girl. Yes, I like it. And hear what she's got for us. See? It grows on you. Talking with her must be a trip and a half. <laughs> it's a bit like wandering out into the dark. You're lost for a minute, but then your eyes adjust and you acclimate. Things normalize. One foot in front of the other. Funny how many things work like that. Ain't that the truth. Oh, hey there, Valis. Germain, or is it Dredge and Hope? No. You know it's drifted these days. Has been for a long time. I was just speaking with the deputy commander. She's ready for you. How's she holding up? Sloane is a soldier, and that role has given her purpose. Hope. But she has been through a great ordeal. Her own personal dark age. Yeah. That's a bad hand to be dealt. Maybe this can wait. Unless you want to tip one back. Talk about the bad old days. <laughs> what is that? Motor oil? Battery acid. Hmm. Only one way to find out. You and I are among the oldest of our kind. Centuries we've orbited each other. Why now? Why not? Maybe another time. <laughs> uh, 
I think Kaido's actually mellowed that old wolf out a bit. The plan's working. It's getting easier for me to parse Asa's thoughts, like a picture coming into focus. Other things are a little harder for me to wrap my head around. When I first heard of Saladin's Iron War Beasts, I... didn't know what to think. We lost a lot of people in the Red War. The Empire took so much away from us, and now Saladin commands an Imperial Legion? They're the reason we had to fall back and regroup on Titan. Why I had to send fire teams down into the Arcology, never to return. Those guardians died under my orders. They paid for our foothold in blood. When the pyramids arrived, there was no way in hell I'd give it all up without a fight. This? This is nothing compared to what others sacrificed. Completing the mission is how I honor them. Just like Saladin honors the Iron Lords. No matter who he leads into battle against our enemies. Stay the course, Guardian. Once Asa and I are ready again, it's back into the depths for us. Saladin Forge. To what do I owe the pleasure? Just thinking about the bad old days, like you said. And that bar you used to tend at the base of Felwinter Peak. You went by Wu Ming, as I recall. Made some coin selling drinks to the Iron Lords. Then spent it hiring them to do jobs on the side. Remember all of that? Yeah, I remember. You left out the part where you threatened to burn it down. Maybe I should have. I never asked you why you ran that little operation. What did you stand to gain? With how your pack of wolves tipped their bartender? Not much. That place never got too busy, but... I had my regulars, and they all had their problems. Some of them just weren't that easy to see from on top of a mountain. Maybe I wanted to call them to your attention. Ah... Uh... So, you had a better perspective. Not better, just different. <sighs> I suppose I could see the value in that. Everything's got value, old wolf. You just gotta know where to look. What's the word, brother? All this Golden Age tech is impressive stuff. Almost makes you wonder how they lost back then, you dig? About that. If we're looking to win this time, I need Savathun's Swamp to wash up a few finishing touches for my rig. Cracking skulls and looting halls is your bag, hero. That's why you're headed to her throne world. That pyramid Savvy brought down, it's cut off from the witness. 
Scorn Bigwig's been digging tech we can use out of that burning heap. All you have to do is find him and take it. Then you let old Drifter worry about the kit bashing. Easy. Hey, uh, one more thing. Zivu dripping nonsense in your head, too? She's been recounting some of my more heroic exploits. Dark Ages been on my mind. You know how the past is. You pull the trigger and people die, so you don't have to. Then, someone comes along and wants to forgive you for that. Like it's fine. Won't ask what Zivu's dredging up for a killer like you. Wouldn't be polite. Thunderguns down there, though. Been under pressure so long. Everybody's looking for cracks. Don't get me wrong, coin to table. She's been through it. But I don't think Sloane's looking to be told it's fine. Cause it ain't. Cause it needs to be ugly to win. And then... You live with it. See you on the other side. This is awful. <laughs> sure is. You ever been outside of Seoul? Never had a reason to. Hmm. Can't say I recommend it. Saw some stuff while I was out there. Bad stuff. A world colder than you can imagine. Creatures that suppressed the light. My crew. Let's just say we wore out our welcome. Creatures started closing in. Trigger fingers got itchy. Some of us froze to death. A lightless final death. The others... They didn't go so quiet. Not until I shut them up. Not sure how long I stayed after that. Had to... Marred my ghost to survive. Used the parts from... I did what it took to get off-world. And now I'm here. I'm no stranger to combat, but... How did you leave it all behind? I didn't. Some things you carry with you forever. But eventually, they stop feeling too heavy to lift. Thanks for the drink, Drifter. <laughs> Anytime, Sloane. Anathema. Calamity. That which cannot, must not come to pass. A wordless denial. A fleeing god. Betrayal. And escape. The pursuit for the final shape.
We're almost there. My link with Asa feels crystal clear. It's a little frightening, but strangely comforting, too. A lot changed while I was gone. It feels like... Like the entire universe moved on without me, and now I'm struggling to catch up. Old enemies became new allies. New enemies wield the light against us. And old allies... Friends... Like Amanda. Sometimes I wonder... If I return to the tower... Would it even be my home anymore? Or would I just be a phantom? <laughs> Forgotten memory wandering its streets at night. Zivu Arath's voice keeps telling me I don't belong there. That the battlefield is my home. That it always has been. Maybe she's right. Maybe reliving what I went through over and over again is a way for me to... stay in familiar territory. To remain in the hell that I know and avoid the one I dread. Either way, the mission comes first. I have to see it through to the end, regardless of where I end up when it's done. The ever forward march of time has a humorous way of looping in on itself. Doesn't it? In some ways, a long-lived perspective makes it difficult not to see trends die and resurface. Do you think that's how the witness sees us? Variations of potential, or lack thereof. What's really on your mind? Sloan. She is singularly focused on her mission. That type of focus. You forget to come up for air. It's like a death when it's over. Your command can be an anchor. Keep her from drifting. That's what I try to do for you. I seem to recall pushing back against your methods quite often. The Dark Age drove us to extremes. Your style of leadership is... more refined than mine. It wasn't long ago that I was your pupil. Since then, I'd like to think we've developed a trust beyond authority or duty. How did you foster that friendship while being my superior? You're not listening, Zavala. I didn't. Remember, you left my tutelage. All I did was give you the lessons I thought you needed to survive. Nothing more. You're saying I can't be all things? I'm saying I can't tell you what you want because our friendship was not of my making. When the Iron Lords fell, when the Red Legion caged the Traveler, when the pyramids filled our skies, my heart was not open. You were. Despite your doubts, others see you as a pillar of strength. They're drawn to the shade you provide. Just stay standing. Ah, I see you. You see me too? Ha, ah, good, good. Then it is all working. You, me, this projector. Even if we sometimes falter. There is a war building in Sloane's eyes. One that Zivu Arath will exploit as she did with Osiris. Savathun wore his face. But it was Zivu Arath who took his light. Her whips drove him into a frenzy. Lured him into danger. Forced Sagira's sacrifice and left him to die. Now she twists my thoughts into thorns, draws out the faces of the suffering Elixni into my dreams. She whispers that I took pleasure in their pain. I see their eyes as they died by my hands, and they see me. She does not lie. She challenges what you hold as a strength. Osiris's ambition, my protection. Sloan's duty. I have felt how the right word, the right face, 
and incite one to violence. But I have changed. What she has taken, it will not break me. Sloane is no warrior of glass, but the war within her. Even stone crumbles under enough strife. Stay with her, Guardian, as I should have with Osiris. We must offer her what support we are able, even if she does not want it. Before you can confront the Witness, you must understand it. The Witness's first victims were once like you, struggling for survival, bolstered by hope, until their hopes became reality. They called it the Gardener, their deity of life. It ushered them into a golden age for eons, they prospered. But their newfound god never spoke to them. It lavished them with gifts, but not with guidance. And though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. They desired meaning, structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the Gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it, they arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the Light, how it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat, without reason. And so they saw the light, not as a source of prosperity, but of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, they found the means to carve away the chaos of existence. To calcify it into a final shape. Eternal. And perfected. They brought the veil back to the gardener in an attempt to strengthen their connection. There, they could reshape reality itself. The Gardener would not allow it. And so it fled their world. But they would not be deterred. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witness's pursuit, its campaign to impose meaning on a meaningless universe, one that is nearly at its end.
Well, now we've heard what Asa had to tell us. We know our enemy better than ever. To think that it all started with the need for purpose. How that need became an obsession. What bothers me most is how much I understand it. This mission, it's my purpose, my reason for being, my guiding light. Without it, I, I'm lost. I don't know who I am or what I'm supposed to do. And that lack of direction, it's harder to face than a thousand battles. I felt the same about my previous mission when I held the line on Titan. And if I'm being honest, it feels like I failed. I survived, but for what reason? What was it all meant to achieve? The only answer I've found is to learn what Asa knows. If I can do that, it will all have been worth it. Our link ended before Asa could explain how to get through the portal. The bond took its toll. But we'll both be ready again soon. When that time has come and gone, then I can feel like I accomplished the mission. You never did tell me why you trust the Nine so much. Oh, I don't. Not even a little. I trust Orin. Orin? Long story. The short of it is, I may have had a feeling or two for somebody a long time ago. Somebody that lost themselves along the way. But there's a little piece of her still out there. A sliver. Who still has a feeling or two for the somebody I could be. So I trust her. Because she ain't never steered me wrong. No matter how rotten I was. Because at the end of the day, maybe we gotta put our faith in something other than ourselves. Even if we're too stubborn to admit it. I didn't expect you to put a lot of stock in faith. And I didn't expect you to lose yours and keep moving. Guess we're all full of surprises, ain't we? I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you're being genuine. Oh, I'm always genuine. People just ain't always paying attention. For real, though? Moondust might have given me a push. Thought it'd help. Sounds like familiar advice. Is it, though? Helping? No joke? I think so. Then we have that in common, too. Change of plans. Zivu Arath struck while you were returning from the dive. Hive deception slipped through our guard, and Asa was targeted by a hive ritual. Zivu Arath's voice tore through the air like a wall of swords. We think it wounded Asa, but she swam off to try and interrupt the ritual before we could do anything. Zavala and Sloan are tracking her to the ritual site, and I am mobilizing the Iron War Beasts to support them. We need you in the fight, Guardian. I'm sending coordinates to your ghost, but we have no idea what to expect there. Deploy to the ritual site and disrupt the hive. The hunt is on. Last one. Long girl should be home free. Excellent work, Guardian. Fire team, check in. Down to a sword, but Hive and Taken forces routed. They will not run far. So many Titans, we encircle them like impenetrable walls. Ha! <laughs> Clear your zones and fall back to defensive positions around Asa as she swims back to the Arcology. Consider it done. War beasts, you fought well. Extra rations for all. What's Asa's status? I've got an eye on her, and I'm shipping a transmat beacon your way. Hold on to your boots. Z 
Zivorath's forces are in full retreat. Good. Time to complete the mission. Our dance will never end. I am war. You carry my banner. Cling to me like hope. What are you without me? Sink into my embrace. Drown in the deep. Fight forever. Stand down, deputy. Sometimes the battle is stepping away from the battle. We're with you all the way. The true path lies obscure. But she knows the way. She who hides truth in deception. The Witch Queen must rise. Samathun. This is what it's come to. Tell me you're not serious. I am. Asa has given us a way to follow the witness. This cannot be the only way. Everyone in this room understands the risks. But we find we have a path forward. We can't wait for another. The Empress won't take kindly to this news. You stand on her council. Convince her. I cannot watch the Witch Queen rise again, Zavala. To scheme against us. To steal another face? No! She won't be given the opportunity. Eris and Ikora will keep the situation under our control. Imaru isn't one to be baited into a trap. Not a trap. A bargain. We're all against the witness. Savathun's ghost has no choice but to cooperate. I'll convey your decision and assurances to the Empress. Commander. Guardians. We tried to control the Witch Queen before. I saw how that ended, Zawala. It is a treacherous path. When she strays, as I know she will, even one claw. My fist will be right behind yours. I hope I am wrong. But right now, I cannot see how. Osiris will hear of this. I imagine he will have words too. There's a long night ahead of us. Let's be the beacons others need to follow. At least until we make it through this. We did it, Guardian. Cut a swath through the Taken and got the intel we needed. The mission is complete. I've waited a long time to say those words. And I used to dread the moment that comes after. But not anymore. I thought I needed the mission to draw my focus. To drown out all the noise. All of this. 
but not focusing on it doesn't mean it isn't there. It's a part of me now. I'll carry it with me wherever I go. And that's okay. I'm strong enough to shoulder that weight, especially if I don't have to do it alone. Asa's in hibernation now. All that strain on our psychic link has worn her out. Poor girl's earned some time to rest. She won't be alone, either. I'll camp out on Titan and watch over her. Just like she watched over me. That's not to say I'll never return to the tower. When I do, I know there'll be a place for me. And people to welcome me home. Take care, Guardian. And watch your back when you dig up Savathun. If you ever need to punch your lights out, you know where to find me. It was survival. But we had hope, a goal. We won, and it was over. This time... Something's dragging me back, like... Like that struggle's all there is. That sounds all too familiar. Oh? I... was married once. You're kidding. What was her name, this woman who wooed old man Zavala? Sophia. Together, we raised a son, Hakim. Uh, oh. It was the Dark Age. I was Saladin's charge. Young, reckless, enchanted by. A warm memory now. I've never heard you talk about those days. Is Rinpier's drunken noodle still there, or did we lose it in some catastrophe? It's still standing. Expanded, actually. Let's talk in person. I'll clear the night schedule. Uh-oh. Must be for someone important. An old friend. Well, I don't know what I would have done if Rinpier's blew up while I was gone. Sometimes those noodles held me together. We would have rebuilt it. Brick by brick, if that's what it took. 